Alright guys, you see it right here. Found a motherfucking mushroom island after like boating around for a good three hours. <laughs> I was just listening to I'm on a boat on repeat and I even put it in the chat. Well, I guess you can't really see it uh not high, but uh, yeah, I, I was like singing lyrics and shit like that in chat. <laughs> and it's uh, lightning out. It's really bad lightning. It's really chaotic. Yes, finally found uh, Mushroom Island. It's coordinates right there on the screen for uh, later convenience of mine. I'll be definitely be coming back to this. Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Beastcraft episode, and uh, what have you seen before? Completely fake. I did not I did not find a mushroom biome. That was uh, done uh, in a survival world that is like faked all of this stuff. Nah, just kidding, I found one. Alright, um, <laughs> so I'm right here at its, I am straight in the middle of nowhere. I grabbed some mycelium while, while I was at it. Uh, I also found a village. I traded some uh, of their own villagers' wheat for three emeralds. <laughs> a little uh, cheaty cheaty. Found almost a stack of gold from uh, the dungeons. Got a bunch of TNT. Got chiseled stone bricks. Stuff like that. Got a bunch of rare stuff on me. And that thunderstorm was shit. Thunderstorm was scaring the shit out of me. I was, uh, it was so active, it was one of those, uh, really high power thunderstorms. And, uh, I was scared that I was gonna strike me and I was just gonna die. With all this stuff on me and never be able to get it back. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, um, as you can see there's been some spots where lightning struck. Uh, at one point, uh, lightning struck, uh, pretty close to me, at least about, like, 15 blocks away. Um... While I was standing still underneath the protection of a mushroom. Yeah, this is fake fire. It's non existent. It's a glitch. Um. Yeah, uh. I tried to get Seox City to sleep, but he is like AFK right now and not even on Skype. So, screw that. And I love how I can go caving without the worry of mobs. Because mobs do not spawn in mushroom biomes at all. Not a. They do not and cannot spawn in mushroom biomes. I will go caving later, though. For right now, I am just wanting to get out of here. Wanting to, uh. Protect what I have. Some more psyllium. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'm gonna head back now and, uh. I'll see you guys the next time, or when I get back over there. <laughs> I'm a bit off right now. I've been uh, spending the last three hours of, yeah, listening to nothing but on a boat, and now I'm tired. It's like 6 a.m. I haven't been to sleep yet. Fuck, let's get too long. Yeah, dream going. Alright, I need to go this way. Alright, so I'll definitely be back to this place. Definitely. I haven't really touched anything besides mycelium, which I mostly tried to replant. That is one glitch water. Alright, so uh, I'll see you guys when I get back to base, if I ever do. Alright guys, little update. I am back on land. I am, uh, I've made a little bit of progress back to my house. I'm just heading dead south. There's death... There's there's Death Monk. Um, and, uh. <laughs> you might notice something. There, there's no mobs at all, anywhere. Not a zero. Nothing. You wanna know why? Because Sea Oxidy is grinding. Yeah. <laughs> He's grinding at my spawner, I believe. and Or his spawner, if he has one. Um. And yeah, he's uh, surpassed the mob uh, spawn limits, so the server cannot spawn anything else now. It's just nothing. <laughs> this gives me a free pass to go back home. 
uh, one advantage of having a grinder on while you're out exploring and shit. 52 inch TV. Alright. See, so yeah, uh, I'll see you once I get back to my house, hopefully, this time, for real. <coughs> uh, CJ. Alright. BRB. <laughs> Alright, guys, I am back at my house. That was a long trip. I took at least like four day night cycles, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, I lost track, but back at my base now. Everything's back to normal. And, uh, Seaxity was grinding my spawner, and he went AFK a lot too long. He got kicked for <laughs> being AFK. Yeah, so I got a shitload of loot now. I got seven emeralds. Almost enough for an emerald block. Almost. Um, got an iron chest plate from a, a village uh, blacksmith's chest. Man, I'm just so tired right now. Sorry for feeling, uh, not feeling. Sorry for, uh, sounding so dull and not excited for anything right now. Alright, sinky pistons also go in there. Chiseled some bricks. I also uh, stopped and got some more of these uh, maxi pads, mycelium. I'm gonna make a mycelium farm, as well as a grass farm. All right. See, so, yeah, I'm pretty much set. Got a shitload of gold, some iron. Got an extra boat. No longer on a boat, motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> so I got the song slightly stuck in my head. Nope. Alright. So yeah, that happened. That shit ass stick long way over to, I don't know whose land. It was like 6,000 blocks away. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah. Um, as you can see over there, I started working on a reed farm. Um, and okay, I just completely lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> I started working on a reed farm here. This is uh, kind of pretty much the most efficient reed farm you could do, I believe. It's kind of uh, diagonal water sources like this. So you could pretty much fill reeds in every single spot here. And we've kind of gotten somewhat far. I just needed more of these maxi pads and more reeds. In fact, I could harvest them right now. Oops. That is why those maxi pads are supposed to be there. Not audio lag. I also noticed something is that um, the Xbox does the same thing as the one button. This is loud. The Xbox pretty much does the same thing as the 1.3 does now. Because um, I noticed when I played the Xbox version, uh, the, my footsteps would sound like they're coming from behind me or from where I last was. Like if I was moving right, it sounded like the footsteps are coming from the left. And they were like, what the fuck, this is annoying. I noticed that uh, when the server is kind of laggy, that... Uh, my footsteps were doing the exact same thing. They were coming from behind me. Um, I figured out that uh, Minecraft 1.3 does most of its sound effects now server side. So it kind of sends it to the client to like play a sound. So that can cause lag on laggy servers. You see I haven't figured out that whole thing yet. It's not perfect. <laughs> Makes it you miss a few spots on the edges, but can't really help that. All right, guess we could plant this. Yeah. Um. Should, yeah, that was really late. All right, 
Oh, I got a good five stacks or so of uh, reeds. Oh, a shitload of grass too from clearing out this area. <laughs> My uh, shovel's almost gone now. I'm gonna miss it. That was a good shovel. I spent like what 22 levels on that, and that was in 1.2.5. <laughs> oh man. All right, got some of these maxi pads. <sighs> man, I, re I really actually felt like live streaming that whole boat experience because that was just fun as fuck for me. <laughs> I was just riding in the middle of nowhere on a boat. Just on a boat. It's like stunning, you know? <laughs> Just on a boat in the middle of nowhere. There's a room over there. Right, there's also a room down there. Another one. Alright. Should be good to plant all these. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna visit the Mushroom Island tomorrow or whenever I next get on. I'm gonna try to link it up to another portal so we can get over there quicker and easier and safer. This trust me, it is not safe traveling all alone by yourself in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh my god, do I have enough? I have enough, just barely. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss any. Oh shit, I'm squishy. Alright. I went down and missed something uh, along the sides. Right, I was just kind of observing that right and observing that right there. My words is so fucked up because I'm so tired. I'm gonna get to sleep after this. It's gonna be a short episode probably, depending on how long the trip I recorded was. All right. So that's all done now. I have one maxi pad left. <laughs> yes, uh, oh. Now all there is to do is just plant the rest of the reeds and get a complete reed farm. Also, I noticed how ingenious it was to plant a giant reed farm right next to uh, a very commonly used zombie spawner. You know what I'm saying? Everybody goes there, so when they go AFK, there's always going to be reeds growing, constantly. So, even if like, uh, well, yeah, somebody's always going to be in the area, pretty much. These things are going to go like, I don't know, they're going to reproduce like bunnies. Alright. Another stack gone. Trying to think of stuff to say. <laughs> Mine is blank now. This is like the third episode I've done today just because all the exciting stuff I've done. I've just, uh, oh hey. I <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> uh, me Etho. Etho. Yeah. Uh, all of the exciting stuff that happened today, like growing a new addiction to Minecraft. Is uh, yeah. I want to start exploring more. Can't wait to do that in my single player world when there's like no world in it. Alright. Everything's planted. You got uh, about just over a stack left. It's a joke. Alright. So yeah. I don't know what to do with all this grass. I guess I'll donate to somebody who needs grass, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. That's like you can stack, stack buckets now. It's pretty convenient. 
Oh yeah, same thing with the maxi pads and jack-o'-lanterns. I made just enough jack-o'-lanterns to fill this whole thing plus one. So, yeah. Alright, but um, I guess that'll be it for today. Probably a short episode, so um, I'm sorry about that. Might continue it tomorrow. I don't know, so if you see it, uh, that this video is not even over yet, but I'm still saying this outro, then I, it, it's probably continued, but if it's not, um, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, this has been another Peacecraft video. So, see you later.